So aquaculture, uh, otherwise known as fish farming, is really uh, yet another one of those seafood things that everybody tends to paint one idea with the same brush and it's really not that simple. Aquaculture has everything from open ocean pens where they're growing tuna and they're raising tuna to floating mussel strings and seaweed farms, inshore fisheries and flooding shrimp farms, to mariculture and hatcheries and oyster and shellfish aquaculture operations. So it's a varied industry. And every little thing, just like wild capture fisheries, has the ability to become something that's sustainable or unsustainable or good for the ecosystem or not. The sustainability at its core, at its actual meaning, is are we taking out only so much that we will have this much or more next year? Within that are some amazing success stories, such as oyster farming. We used to have oysters everywhere in New York City. It was the oyster capital of the world. There were piles of oyster reefs at low tide. People could go out and eat lunch like kings used to do in Europe. It was insane the amount of oysters we had. We don't have any left in New York Harbor. People are trying to bring them back. There's a project to put a billion oysters in the New York Harbor. There's oyster reefs being put at the Navy Yards. There's oyster reefs being put at uh, down the Jersey Shore, and there's oyster farmers growing them all over the region so you can get great local sustainable oysters. By growing oysters and building reefs, you're putting organisms back out that we love to eat, that are sustainable, that also happen to clean the ecosystems that they're in and provide habitat for other fish. Mussels are great too. All these filter feeding shellfish, they clean our ecosystem. They pump water through and take out pollutants. So you're building a better ecosystem and building your own food source all at the same time. So it is a great story that's based on a tragic overexploitation. And so putting oyster aquaculture operations in as many estuaries and marshlands as we can, it can only be a good thing. And it's being done all over our coasts.